A long time back, I had made a video on a tool by Stanford University that is completely free to access called STORM, which stands for Synthesis of Topic Outlines Through Retrieval and Multi-Perspective Question Asking. In short, it's a large language model powered knowledge curation system that researches a topic and it generates a full length report with citations. But now, they iterated on this version even further and introduced something new just a few days ago called CoStorm, which proposes a collaborative discourse protocol which is going to implement a turn management policy to support smooth collaboration and it's going to be essentially able to develop full-on articles even better than its predecessor which is Storm. It's essentially a groundbreaking AI research tool that anyone can access on the web as well as locally where you can input any topic where it will go ahead and scan hundreds of websites to craft an article which is going to summarize its key findings and essentially you're going to be able to get the best output from CoStorm scouring through every sort of source to develop this full-on article for you. Just an example, we can go ahead and have it start creating an article on human AI collaboration writing like OpenAI Canvas. You can go ahead and send in this prompt and within a couple of seconds, we'll have CoStorm go through multiple different sources and this could range from 50 to even 100 plus sources, which is why it is taking long in terms of crafting this response. But right now, it is going over through many different sources to generate this article for you. And there we go. We have this full on article generated for us. On the left hand side, you have all the different contents of this article. You can see this is a fully fledged article with multiple pages and it has multiple different sources, which is something that we'll take a look at. But this is the conversation of how it was able to develop this. You can see it first starts off with the moderator which is talking about how it's going to plan on generating this article. It retrieves different sources with different types of agents like an AI researcher. You have a general knowledge provider. And as you go down, you can see that it is going to be chatting alongside with all the different agents that develop this fully fledged article. You can see that it has multiple different sections to it. You have the ability to go over to the background. You can go over through all of these different subtopics and if you are to click on many of these different references you'll see where it was able to find all of the contents that it was needed to construct this article and say if you want to view this article as a pdf click on this bottom right uh, button which will allow you to actually download it and in this case it showcases that this article is 23 pages long on human ai collaboration writing like open ai canvas and if we scroll down to any section, you can see that it was capable of writing a detailed description of that content within this PDF. So this article is definitely fully packed with what we had specified on writing and it lists all the different references on the bottom. You can see that it was able to go through 161 different references to construct this 23 page report. And if you are to actually just read any section, you will understand how detailed and how uh, precise this description or the content of this article is uh, to the description of the title or the prompt that we had sent in. If you click on discover, you'll see what people were actually capable of generating with CoStorm. So you can go over to articles and you can click on something like the perception of cybersecurity in e-commerce. And you can see that that prompt is going to help us generate this article for us. But essentially, this was a community made article, and you can see that it is gonna be capable of generating anything for you based off of a single prompt that you give it. Within the My Library tab, you're gonna be able to access all the different articles or reports that you generate with Storm as well as CoStorm. The way CoStorm works is with the roundtable conversation. What this means is that it is taking an approach of having conversations with different AI agents, which is going to showcase an inclusive discussion format where all the participants, which is the AI agents in this case, have equal opportunity to share ideas. And with different AI agent providing an input, you can have a fostering open dialogue conversation, which is going to be able to construct an article with different viewpoints. 
Let's actually try out an example. I'm going to have it generate an article on the growing space of AI. So at this current moment, some of you guys may have errors trying to generate this. Uh, if we're lucky, we will have this prompt sent in to CoStorm. But some of you guys might be facing a lot of issues on the servers running uh, CoStorm because there's a lot of people using it at the moment. Maybe it was my tweet that had brought in a lot of users. But essentially, uh, you might run into a lot of problems trying to generate an article at the moment. So you might want to try this out a couple days later. But I was lucky enough to have it focus on generating a base structure for this article by having it explored through different sorts of uh, sources. But now, once you are into the second page, which is going to focus on writing up the mind map for your article, you can go ahead and share a couple of different details. Uh, in this case, it says, please share the motivation and what you hope to achieve with your topic. So I'm going to go ahead and write something up. So looks like we're getting an error, which was kind of expected, but I'm going to try to see if this will work. I'm saying to educate viewers on the growing space of AI. I'm going to see if I can refresh to see if it can generate the article. Now, somehow I managed to get it working and it's not actually on the original topic that I had described it to create an article upon. It's on World of AI. Now, it is going to showcase the conversation, but in this case, it is slowly uh, loading up all the different convos that the different agents are constructing to create the article and on the right hand side you will be able to see the article that it generated now it's really short it's not something that you saw beforehand because we still have the conversation within the round table happening so you can join in to the conversation you can add on to different points so if there is a current sector that is rising within your article you would want to emphasize it you can then describe that and then it'll go ahead and use different agents to expand upon that topic that you had sent in. Uh, but in general, it was capable of generating the main point of the pace of World of AI growing within the, the recent years. And it does a good job in focusing on different categories. And obviously, you can go ahead and download this if you wanted. Now, unfortunately, with the article that I had generated, I wasn't able to showcase a good example of the conversation. But let's say it generates the base structure of your article. You can then go ahead and then you can prompt up a couple of things. Like in this case, the user requested the AI agent to, could you tell me more about how does this impact global currency, specifically its impact on China? Now, essentially, this article is about, uh, I forgot what it was, but it was about something related to the Federal Reserve and how they're cutting rates. And essentially, it generated the main structure of the article. And you can see within the conversation table, you can iterate it uh, on the article further by providing a couple of points to focus on specifically. And you can see within this table, it does so. And you can continuously do this. In this case, on the second prompt that was sent in was, I'm wondering the timing of this event as it's quite close to elections. What does it mean for both parties? And you can see it focuses on writing a bit about what was asked for within that prompt. And it emphasizes all the different sources that it was using to construct that. But that's essentially how you can easily generate various sorts of articles that are fully uh, in depth. You can simply send in a prompt and it will do uh, its due diligence on working through finding different sources to construct that article for you. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now in my last video, I actually showcased how you can install this locally. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at the link in the description below, which will showcase the installation process. It's fairly easy. You just want to clone this repository with Git. You can go into the directory, install the required packages by installing it within Conda, and you can easily then get started and generate different types of articles locally. But this new update of CoStorm is definitely going to be able to easily generate full on articles even better than the original Storm product. So definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links that I use in today's video in the description below.
Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please, please, please uh, make sure you comment if you want to see other types of videos like this so that I know what I should be focusing on in terms of generating videos for you guys. With that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.